Och varmt välkommen till dagens IFK-tv idag så ska vi prata med Patrik Reitanen, han är försvarare, och Baba Mensa som också är försvarare. Welcome here! Thank you! Thank you. Thank you. First season in IFK, uh, can start with you Patrik, how, how, how come you landed here in, in IFK? I think for me it's now important to play football and in Hojigo it's a really really much like players and uh, a lot of competition so for me now it's it's really good to be here and you know fight for my place and help the team as well as I can so for me it's just play football and prove myself that I am a player of the Vegas Liga quality so yeah how about you Bala? yeah um, I also played in uh, Hoiko and at the end of everything, I decided to be in the Vekos Liga because uh, my motive is to be in the Vekos Liga and to show myself again. So um, I was so happy when I had a call to be here. And it's a, it's a good place to enjoy football, the environment, everything is okay and nice. So I'm happy to be here. Yeah. Uh, Baba, you moved to Åland and Marihamn. Uh, how, what's your impression of, of Åland and Marihamn so far? And the impression is great because here it's calm, easy, because uh, everything is nice and easy here, calm in the middle of the ocean. It's a blessing, you know. It's a blessing to live in the middle of Sweden and uh, Finland. It's a blessing to live in between. So for me, I feel so well, yeah. and I feel so great to be here. What do you say, Patrick? Uh, for me also, it's the same. It's uh, everything is close here, and I feel like it's a really close community. Even like uh, the team and everything, the fans, everything. I feel like it's a really close community that everybody feels welcomed and everybody feels together. And I also feel about the city. It's uh, Everything you you need you have here, and it's a small place, but I like it about that that we everybody needs to stick together, and I like that, and I've enjoyed being here a lot. Let's talk a little bit bit about your family situation. Uh, how about your your family, Patrick? Here, or do you have someone living with you here? Uh, right now, I'm living here on my own, but obviously, my my family will come to watch the games and everything. It's it will be a nice holiday for them to also come and watch the games and visit all and so yeah. yeah. But right now I'm on my own. Yeah. How about you, Baba? Yeah, for me uh, I'm alone, but I live with my girlfriend. But unfortunately, she's not here with me because of work. But she will leave. She will come here soon. Uh, so my focus is football. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> you both played together in, in Club in all four, uh, so you know each other from before. Yeah. Is that an advantage on the pitch? For oh, you? Yeah, 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 I think so. Yeah, because we, we know ourselves, we know what to do and you know how to help each other. Yeah, and we, it's obviously that we have the experience of yeah. playing together, yeah. so we know each other's like strengths and it's, it makes it easier. Yeah. You know, when you don't, don't know, but know somebody, then it's not so easy at start but now we al already have like that communication and everything yeah. so I think it's it's definitely an advantage. How is Baba as a football player? Baba is a strong <laughs> defender, I, I really like that about him and calm on the ball and we always say to each other play simple and focus on defending. Baba is, I like to play with him. What do you say Baba, how is uh, Patrick as a football player? Patrick is an amazing player, a nice boy Oh, nice man. <laughs> man. <laughs> yeah, oh, and you know, on the field, he put everything aside. Everything is work. And I like him. I really like him the way he works. When I play with him, the understanding, the communication, you know. You know, sometimes when you play with someone, like, you know, it's, it's so amazing. Yeah. Because if I'm doing something that is not good, we talk and then yeah. we get going, you know. So... So I, I like the, I like you. Yeah. <laughs> we have the connection. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what do you do in your in your free time, Baba, when you're not playing and training? Uh, my free time, I'm always home. Uh, sometimes study finish, and then play some FIFA, 
and then be on phone talking to my girlfriend. Mm -hmm. But fortunately, my family is uh, in Ghana, mm -hmm. and you know, my free time or maybe go outside, enjoy the nature. Yeah. What do you say, say Patrick? For me, it's um, I like to go to the gym. I, I like to work hard, even though when I'm not not here at the stadium training, and I always like to like take care of my body and do everything that I can be fine tomorrow to train. But obviously, I like to watch Netflix, PlayStation, just like enjoy and get my mind out of football. Yeah. Talk yeah. to my friends and family and etc. What's I'm your favorite food? My favorite food, I think this is something that my mom has made at home, is like homemade pizzas. Mm. And I have like took the recipe and I do them as well. But also like tortillas, like tacos. Okay. So I eat everything. So. Yeah. How about you, Baba? Uh, I like uh, salmon and uh, peruna. Ah, yeah, potato. potatoes. Yeah, but mostly I enjoy my African food. <laughs> How's your sk uh, kitchen skills? Mm, I'm good. I'm good in cooking. Okay. I'm the best. Yeah. All the best. Yeah, I'm so good in cooking. I'm very good. Okay. But not uh, African food, but you know, I'm learning how to cook Swedish and Finnish food. I want to blend everything together. Yeah. Patrick, you're also champion in the kitchen? Yeah, I think so, because I, I've lived six years abroad now without my family, without anybody around. So if I don't make food, if I don't do that, then nobody's going to feed me. So yeah. I have to learn learn and I think I'm quite okay now. I use my mom's recipes because they are the best but yeah. anyway. Okay, so she is the best and you copy it? Yeah, yeah. copy cut. <laughs> <laughs> do you have any special, regarding your food, do you have a, um, some special food on, on game day that you always eat or prefer? No, I think it depends but I like to eat pasta just to you know, get something in me and not too much because I feel like if you eat too much on a game day then it's not good. Mm. Just maybe the day before I eat a lot of pasta with some chicken or something. Simple so my yeah. stomach doesn't go crazy. Yeah. What do you say Baba? Yeah same to me. Game day I don't eat much. You know, I only eat little but I like drinking more water and eating some vegetables mm. and you got for the game. Yeah. Because most important, you need uh, something that will last in the game for you. So, do you do some, do you do something special on game days that you have to do to to have luck? Or yeah, yeah. Sometimes I do meditation and yoga. Yeah, for me, uh, I'm really like religious person, so I obviously I pray every day. But before the game, I do that yeah. also because just you know, so nobody gets hurt in the game and yeah. etc. Because just like the, the air that we breathe is for someone, yeah, and we are just benefiting yeah. from the air that we breathe. So, but just you know, try to focus on the game and not do anything special. Just yeah. you know, do like you live normally, mm -hmm. and then because if you think about too much what I'm gonna do and about the game, then you're not gonna play that well. But if you just be normal and enjoy it, when you come to the game, then you enjoy it again and just. Yeah, what I would say to the EFCO Mariham fans, like this is a new opportunity for us to show something in Vegas Liga. And we, the players, we cannot do unless uh, they support us. Yeah. Because we are family. Without them, we cannot move forward. So we are urging them for them to buy their season ticket and come and enjoy football. Yeah, because we are community, so we need you fans also. Like a 12th uh, player on the pitch. We need your support, so please come and watch us play. Patrick Reitanen and uh, Baba Mensa, thank you for the talk and have a fantastic day. Thank, thank you. you. Thank Bye. you.